I'll be. It's a day when it's not raining. Hallelujah. Oh. So, I was here from open to 6.30 yesterday. Yeah, I think so. And then I open close today. And then I open close tomorrow. But I have Sunday off. It's going to be a laundry day. Slash farmer's market day. Farmer's market. I hope. I don't, I don't care if it's raining. We're hauling the laundry. As much as we can do. Down to the fucking laundry room. I don't care if we have to go to a laundry mat. To get it done. It's getting done. Yes. Uh, I am really tired. I don't understand why, but I'm just really tired. Mm. So I'm enjoying my break. <sighs> Sitting down feels nice. So, I have been really vlogging the last few days due to other due, due things. I've been busy. Um, which is not really an excuse. I should be vlogging. I enjoy it, but uh, anyway, uh, so I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure where to start. The last two days have been very interesting for me. Um, work definitely has taken a turn for the south. I really don't want to be there anymore at this time. Um, but I'm going to stay there. I'm going to do my best. This is what I, what I always do. I'll do the best I can because that's what they pay me to do. But they moved me into a position that um, it's unofficially referred to as death row. Right? Uh, someone wants to fire me, or at least someone thinks I need to be fired. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. I don't care. Um, I'm going to hang out here as long as I can, find work where well, I'm looking for other work. Um, but we'll see. Uh, people still like me at work. You know, there are people who are still rooting for me, but I'm pretty sure uh, someone doesn't want me there. So they put me in a position where the slightest fuck up, they'll, they'll try to get rid of me. I've seen it happen before many a times in my time at this company. Uh, so there's that. Maybe it's something I said, something I did. Maybe I'm not meeting some metric they want me to meet and I'm just slowing down or whatever. It, it happens. But I'm going to do what I can to keep my job. Because it, I said it's not a hard job. I like my job. I like the people I work with. Well, speaking of people I work with, one of my friends um, who's been with the company... God knows, five, five years, almost six, maybe five, maybe five in June. Would have been with a company five years, let's put it that way. Maybe six years. I, I don't fucking know. He's been there a long goddamn time. Uh, he quit. He up and quit. The little fucker got out. He fucking got out. And I envy him so much. You know, I need to shave. Uh, but anyway, he's gone. So that that so he he was a. Uh, he was one of the people I always went to when I needed assistance. Uh, we had, he's been there so long, he knows things about machines, uh, about those machines that I can only hope to uh, ever learn. Uh, man, he's forgotten more than I know, you know, that kind of thing. So I was trying to, uh, I'll have to talk to him, see what's going on, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I know what happened. Um, he's burned out, really fucking burned out. Um, he hates the place. He's a bitter employee. But he does his job really fucking well. So, you know, he, he, he does exactly what he needs to do to get the job done. And he doesn't care about anything else. Get the job done. Um, and for a while, he was working on a special team where he didn't have to take live calls. Which I think is good for him. He, he has a low tolerance for stupid. And trust me, when I say call centers, you get you don't get a lot of stupid people. But when you do, holy fuck. They just want to gouge your eyes out with a pen. He's gone now, which makes life interesting because I like him a lot. Uh, hard to get a hold of him out of work. That's the other issue. I can guarantee I can spend some time to talk with my friend out of work, during breaks, lunch, before work, after work. It was a great way to get your knowledge from him about other things besides work. Uh, but, you know, whatever. We'll figure it out. Uh, I've sent invitations to by his house anytime, so I might just do that uh, this weekend or next weekend or next day off. See what he's up to. Maybe help him out with his car. I've been meaning to do that for a while anyway. So that's work. 
My day to day, not much has changed really. Um, I'm just trying to be a little bit more conscientious of what I do, um, conscious of what I say, I'm trying to be a better person every day. I understand that uh, sometimes my word, I can be very negative uh, sometimes. I'm trying to avoid that more. Um, but at the same time, I'm going through some shit in my life. Um, where to start? One, uh, you guys know I lost Austin, my cat. I mean, that was shit. I, I don't know. I think it's less than a month ago. It feels like forever ago. And I think why that feels like forever ago is because I've distanced myself from those emotions. Uh, I, I, it hurts. It hurts a lot. Uh, I didn't think I would get that attached to an animal. To a cat, to any other animal. Cat, dog, whatever. But I really loved Austin. And I'm come, um, I held it together the best I could. And, uh, trust me, I broke down a lot. Uh, the first couple days. Then I kind of bottled it up, put it away for now, and now it's coming back. But I feel like I'm in a better place now I can handle it. I can ease his grieving, the grieving back into back into my life without letting it consume every waking moment of my life like it did the first few days. I'm not quite entirely over him. I don't think I ever will truly ever be over him. Uh, it's after work, and I'm heading over to uh, carry the Barnes and Noble um, uh, library. Ugh, not library. God damn. The Barnes and Noble booksellers is open. Uh, up again, I'm meeting uh, one of the Knights of Feel Lux there, Sir Buck. Uh, well, actually, I'm meeting possibly three of them Sir Buck, Sir Tom, Sir Harrison. Uh, all three of us are going out into um, down the street to a, a game store called Gamer's Armory. Uh, we're actually going there on official night business. Um, well, it's not going to be much, but we're going there to present the um, store with a poster, uh, talk to the owner about uh, the Fantasy Gamer Conclave, which if you're in the Raleigh-Durham area, uh, I highly recommend uh, you check out if you're a gamer. It's a, a two-day event at the uh, okay, man, which school? It's a, it's, a, it's a Cary Academy. And uh, basically, all the money goes towards, uh, well, not all the money. A majority of the money goes to, um, goes to charity. Uh, I'm not sure which charity this one's going to. Uh, if it's our usuals, so it's going to be the Wounded Warrior, or not the Wounded Warrior, the uh, Autism Society uh, from North Carolina, or the Wounded Warrior, or there may be a third one, I'm not sure which. Um, but it's going to be, I believe, 90% of the, uh, all proceeds go down. 10% goes back into running the thing. No one actually gets a paycheck out of this, guys. Um, it's so we can run another, the next event. It goes back into operations. Uh, this is a non-profit, and we mean that shit. So, um, I just finished up some stuff with uh, Knights of Fiat Lux. We went and dropped off some stuff at a local game shop. We are advertising for an event that's coming up. Uh, so, yeah, so we did that. So I decided I needed a snack because we're not eating until 8 o'clock tonight because we eat my brother. So I drove to the Dairy Queen here. <clears throat> and I ordered um, just like a, a couple snacks and a drink. Got an unsweet tea. Um, basically, if you're not from the South, tea automatic comes with sugar in it. So if you want you want tea and you want an unsweet, you got to tell them no, you don't want unsweet tea. Plain doesn't work. Unsweet tea. Yeah, I know it seems... I remember a comedian once saying, you know, I'd like to meet the asshole that invented advice to turn uh, sweet tea under unsweet tea. Because the idea of sw uh, unsweet tea is that someone had to put sugar in it and he pulled the sugar out. But um, anyway, as I was sitting there, she gave me my drink and she, uh, it's generally I'm a considered polite to ask if you want like Splenda, uh, you know, the fucking whatever else, the, the, the artificial sweeteners. And she looked at me and I was looking at her and she had me a drink and she said, Sir, would you like any carcinogens with that, for that sweet tea? For that unsweet tea? I, was like, I just looked there for a second and said, No, I think I'm good. I don't think she realized she said it, but as soon as she closed the door and she walked away, I started laughing my ass off. Uh, she didn't see me, but that was fantastic. Uh, carcinogens. Mm-mm, good. 
plate. But that's my husband's plate. Whose plate is this? What? Oh, it's an Alex. That's whose plate that is. Hi, honey. Ah, why are you throwing stuff at me? Winning. Ta-da, bitches. You wrestled the jimmies all over the table. <laughs>